first Kentucky room. Yas. So this is our first room in Paris. This is like our little view of Paris. Just a cute little room. Got two double beds. And now we're just waiting for the rest of our Kentucky to get here. So our Kentucky tour and everyone else has just arrived. So we went down, sorted out all our information. And then at 6.30, what's the time now? Um, I don't Seven. Six. Sorry. Okay. At 6.30, we're going down for dinner just at our hotel restaurant. Just going to meet everyone. And then tonight we're going to the Eiffel Tower. So I'll bring you guys along with me. I'm not too sure how I'm going to go with filming absolutely everything on this trip just because I want to like experience it myself because I've never been to Europe and like that's the whole reason why I booked it. Um, but I'll get as much as I can filmed for you. So yeah, I'll see you when we're at the Eiffel Tower. Uh, roundabout there is a, a bit of an urban myth that insurance companies don't cover you that's not actually true it's just a special arrangement with French insurance companies that um, they say okay well it's uh, Arc de Triomphe it's absolutely insane basically what happens is anytime there is an accident both insurance companies uh, they assess the total damage and then they pay half each
So we are still in France. We are on our way to Barcelona, but we are now stopped at this beautiful castle called the Le Carcasson. Le Carcasson, which is um, yep, still in France. Um, apparently, it's a little fun fact: Walt Disney's uh, inspiration for Sleeping Beauty's. Our uh, castle is this one, which is really cool. So the tops over there and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll show you the yard. So we're just going to be eating at Le Menestrel. Le Menestrel. Le Menestrel. Le Menestrel. It's very, very hills especially around the outskirts and there's enough sort of rugged hills and small mountains uh, to make it technically the second most mountainous country in Europe after Switzerland okay so Switzerland that's just literally just all mountains um, but they're they're big boats so in Spain they're much smaller but it's still quite a rugged uh, countryside and so you talk to kids in South America you talk to kids anywhere back probably even Australia and New Zealand maybe even Canada who knows you'll find uh, supporters of Real Madrid and Barcelona, two of the biggest um, footballing teams or sports teams in the entire world, absolutely massive. And then we've got a free night tonight to do whatever we want. So I think we might be going out and we have just lost our group. So this is a bit. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a problem. That's right. <laughs> there is our group. We've caught up. Um, and then tomorrow we have a full free day in Barcelona to do what we want. So that should be fun. Yay! So hot here. 
I'm upset. So we have just checked in into the Novotel in Barcelona and this is our room. This is probably the nicest room we've had so far. Nice big bed, like big floor space. There are ugly suitcases down there. Wide window. The view isn't that lovely, but that's all right. My favorite part's probably the bathroom, which is in here. Can't seem to find the light. Go for the bathroom. But um, we get a bath, which is amazing. And then this is the shower here. We've already had one. But it's like a little time portal. It's so cool. Gorgeous toilet. And this is, yes, the bathroom. Uh, we are about to head down for our included dinner with Kentucky and then we're just going to oh, and then we're just going to go hang by the pool have some sangria mm. and go for a swim and then tomorrow we've got a full free day in Barcelona to do whatever we want and then we have a flamenco dance dinner tomorrow night which is going to be so fun and then we're going to go out into the clubs and party Palette, palette. So tonight's not really a big night, but we'll still have a few drinks and pate. Yes. Pate, pate. Pate. I'm so hungry. Beautiful. We had a very big night last night, so we're very dusty. Just a little bit dusty. Just a little bit. <laughs> Nothing hydrolyzed. Oh, the sun, exactly. It's gorgeous. Just gone for a walk in the market. 
concerts, which was so amazing, so crazy, such weird foods, but it was really nice. And now we're going to head down towards the beach. See what that's like. So this was our last day and night in Barcelona. We had a really nice day and a really good night. We ended up going out to see a flamenco dancing show with our Contiki tour and had a few drinks. Uh, so tune in next week to see our next vlog that will be Nice.